When I came to America, I was convinced it would be a wonderland by my mom, my sister, and American movies. Turned out, it was all just fantasy. I think my first year was full of up and downs. The up point was that I got to experience new things, meet new people, and learn about new culture. But for the most part, it was just a sky full of thunder and rain. I always longing for to accept it from American people. I always wanted to be someone or somebody in their life. But what I get back, it just I was just nobody. It's just very hard for people to see who I am because they never feel like there's anything that connected between me and them. I try to be that Asian American girl, try to pretend that I was growing up and live here, try to pretend that part of me is American, try to be similar to the people who surrounded me, try to be someone that was them. And I forgot who I was. I was too Asian American for Asian people. And I'm too Asian for American people. I was just lost. For the longest time, I was just, I was thought I was first generation because at 15 years old in 2016, my girlfriend, they all mostly are first generation or maybe second generation Asian American. I always try to find a person who can identify with, a person who can share experience with, but I forgot that I am not first generation. I experience what, a, what Asian American parents go through. I experience the language barrier. I experience the feeling of being used as an Asian American. I experienced the racism. Even I was too naive to notice that. But just I always try and try and try to get accepted by those people. So I was I didn't know that I was being used. All the achievement that people get when they come to America. It's just a label of, of proving, yeah, I'm American, so I achieved this, so this is American dream, people should chase after it. It was not worth it for me back in the time. It's only worth it if you're willing to trade your whole life for it. And I'm so glad that throughout my road, I found some people who actually point me back to who I was and point me back to my root. Finally, I found myself. I picked up every piece of me along the way. I picked it up the Asian part, and I also picked it up the American part. And I'm glad I did. It was a long journey, but I believe that the journey was worth it because the ride was fun. I found many friends along the way. I lose some friends along the way. And I'm happy about it. And right now I could just say this. I'm not Asian American. I am proud.